I had a request to show how to time the magneto with the engine installed in the tractor. I did show it on the engine assembly video part two, but it wasn't quite the same as lining up timing marks and stuff like you would in a tractor. So we're going to start with that. Right now it runs great, but I'm going to remove the magneto, spin it over, get it out of time, and we'll start from scratch. All right, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to pull spark plugs so it spins over easy for one. And also so I can tell if I'm on the compression stroke on cylinder number one. Here's what our spark plugs look like after probably five or six gallons of fuel and a lot of playing. All right, so we're going to remove the magneto. First, I'll start with the kill wire. Okay, magneto's out. Now I'm going to spin it over to make sure it's out of time. Actually, I'm going to have my assistant. Tucker, spin it over. Go ahead and pull the start starter lever. Pull it hard. Yeah, it will. And do it for about two seconds and like a... Till you hear it. Two seconds. Do it one more time for good measure. All right. That's good. There's my son, Tucker. So we're definitely out of time at this point. Okay, there's a couple things we're going to look at. I'm going to show you the timing marks before we bother setting top dead center. So where we look for the timing mark is on the left side of the bell housing. There's this hole inside. Sometimes there's some accessories bolted over it. You may have to remove that, but we can see that silver in there is the flywheel. So now I'm going to spin the engine over by hand and show you all the marks. Past it. Let me see if I can back it up. There we go. So that mark that says fire, that is not necessarily where the magneto would be set at this point. Right? That fire mark is 30 degrees before top dead center. So if you use a timing light while it's running up above a few hundred RPM, when the magneto is no longer clicking, that is where it should fire. The mark we're looking for is the top dead center mark. So we rotate 30 degrees and you see center. That is top dead center. So on the magnetos, technically, on the magneto, technically, the good place to fire is right about there, top dead center. So when we get done, hopefully we hear the click. Now, there's a couple things to note here. If I rotate this about half a turn, we got another fire mark. Looks a little different. Then we got another center mark. So those are 180 degrees across from each other, which means we have a TDC mark for number one and four cylinder, and the other mark is for two and three. So we can't just set it to TDC and go with it. We need to make sure number one is on the compression stroke. So that is the next step. Tucker's playing Nintendo games in the background. All right, so now we're set up on the right side of the camera at cylinder number one. I took my noise canceling headset off so we can actually hear this happen. So what you're gonna do is hold a finger over the hole. You don't wanna stick your finger deep in the hole there, but you wanna hold your finger over it until you hear a hiss. Hopefully that shows up on the camera. Let's see. There we go. So now we heard that. Now we know we're on the compression stroke and both the intake and exhaust valves closed. So now let's go back over to our timing marks and line it up on center. Now we got the camera set up back at the timing marks there on the flywheel. So I should be pretty close at this point. So I'm gonna go real slow. And the first mark I should see is the fire mark, and I'll pass that. Oh, maybe not. Apparently, I already passed the fire mark while I was turning it over for the compression stroke. So 
that should be top dead center cylinder number one on the compression stroke. You could probably verify this if you want to look into the cylinder with a flashlight, see if you see the top of the piston um, or feel in there with a the screwdriver, but I'm pretty confident we're there. So we turned it over till we felt compression. It took a couple revolutions before we got to that point. And once we felt compression, then we move it over to top dead center and we are there. This should be where the magneto fires when we're starting it by hand. Once it gets to higher RPM, then it will kick over and advance 30 degrees and start firing on that fire mark. So now let's look at our alignment on the magneto itself. All right, so notice our governor gear here. Go straight across. Those two notches are horizontal. So that's where it should be. Now we need to line up the magneto on number one. Here's our mag. I'm going to take the cap off the front. Something to note on this, by the way. Our number one cylinder, if you're facing the magneto, is the top left. So this is going to be number one. There's even a little mark there I put with a pen back when I was building it. If we turn this forward, it stops right before we get there. And it actually winds up. And then jumps past number one as it fires. So to get it right on number one, we're going to rotate this backwards. That's going to put us right there on number one. And if we turn it around, this is horizontal to match up with the engine. So right now, this should go right in and be in time. So let's do that next. One thing I noticed is I had a lot of oil in here, which is good. That means our governor's getting oil like it should. What happens is the oil accumulates, goes past this bushing and accumulates here and drains back in through this hole. I just want to wipe it off the ceiling surface there. Okay. We still line up. Top left. And we're horizontal. So this should go pretty close to right in. There we go. These pliers, by the way, are smooth jawed, so they fit. It's like this pretty good. Normally I'd grab a wrench, but these don't really tighten up super tight or you might crack the housing. And this these pliers won't mark them up. Most of the time if you tight align this straight up and down, it's gonna be pretty close to in time. There's gives you some room for minor adjustment. I'm gonna put this one straight up and down and start there. Then we're going to look at the time marks and see when the magneto clicks. Okay, I'm going to set my headset on the magneto. It's noise canceling, so it would drown out that pop. But if it's right on it, maybe we'll hear it. So I'm going to spin this over, and we'll see what happens. All right, start rotating. It clicked as soon as it got there. Let's see what the next one is. I'll try to go slower. Okay, this is 30 degree mark. Next is firing right at top dead center. That's pretty good. Okay, should should be coming up. All right. So now we're going to reinstall plug wires and see if this thing fires off.
99% of the time, this is perfect. Um, if you want to be super accurate, that's a 30 degree. At the 30 degree before top dead center timing, you'd want to put a timing light on it. But you would also, at that point, if you're going to be hand cranking this thing, you want to verify that it is not firing at all before top dead center when you're hand cranking or to kick back on you. All right, at this point, I'll throw all the plugs back in. Okay, so remember, number one is the top left as you're facing it. So it's the top one closest to the engine. The next one to fire is going to be number two. Now, the modern four cylinder fire on order is one, three, four, two, but this one's a little different. So it goes cylinder one, and then cylinder two, cylinder one and two, and then four, three. So one, Two, four, three. One, two, four, three. All right, now it's time to fire it off and see if it works. Let me get rid of this Bluetooth headset so we could hear it. I don't got a hand crank yet, but I got a ratchet. We'll see if it fires off with this. Can't quite get enough on it on this ratchet. Good news is, while I was hand starting it, the ratchet didn't kick back at all. So we are firing just after top dead center, or maybe right at, which is good. If I had a timing light here with me, I would uh, check it with that just to see, so we would know where it's firing at, and if it's advancing to full 30 degrees. But I don't have one here at the moment. Maybe that'll be for another video. But we're working great, and hope this video helps out somebody. Stay tuned. See you next time.